So I ran out of ideas of what to do in uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate. I mean, I have Amiibos that I could, you know, try out and stuff, or, you know, showcase in a way, maybe. But the more that I thought about it, the one thing I think I didn't show off was, uh, or that I could show off, that I would like to show off, is my uh, control scheme, or what I like to, or how comfortable do I get with playing um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, um, obviously, as you guys know, I use the GameCube controller. Um, however, there is one difference I'd like to show you. Just one note that you guys need to keep note of. Two notes, maybe. One, wherever I put that. Oh, yeah. There is a difference between using this controller and this controller, the GameCube and the Pro Controller. The difference is, is that um, this one has less lag by, like, a few frames when uh, inputting an input. This one has a little bit more lag because it's wired. But the one thing this controller does have, that this controller doesn't have, is like these little notches. Cause like, okay, uh, how do I just? Okay, so a lot of the time I would see my little brother mess up recoveries a lot, and it's probably because he would probably like point the stick like, um, actually, he would probably point the stick like somewhere over here, and he thinks he's recovering, but really he was pointing, you know, he was pointing it over here, when really he should be pointing it like a little bit more up here. And with characters like, uh, you know, Mario, Young Link, that might be kind of messy. If you're trying to recover with characters that need a diagonal recover. Um, so, that's why personally I love using the GameCube controller. Because when I just, uh, when I point it up here, you can actually, f I can actually feel the little notches. So I could just like, point up there and realize, oh yeah, this is my way to recover. So, sometimes I won't be able to do it on point though. Since for some reason in Smash Bros. 4, it was a lot more easier to do it. All you, all I had to do was like, all I had to do was point in this direction. Like, in between the diagonal notch and the little, um, upward, uh, little dent thing. And it would allow me to recover the way I wanted to. But in Smash Bros. Ultimate, that's for some reason not the case. And I don't know why, but it's kind of stupid, admittedly. But, it's a, we just have to get used to it, apparently. Adapt, people. Even though adapting is not fun all the time. Also, another note I want you guys to take note of. There is actually a difference between, a. Uh, this is probably what your game controller might feel like. It won't look like this. But this is probably what. And actually, hold up. This game controller does feel the same way as any of the other game controllers. You know, feels you know really comfortable stuff. Got all these buttons, but there is a difference between the game controller you guys are having the game controller that I have. Um, probably the most important thing is the uh, little um, is the L stick right here. It's actually kind of broken. Not it's not really broken at all, but it's like. It's kind of loose, so uh, what I like about it the most is that um, since because the little uh, left stick is kind of more loose, I get to like, I get to, you know, I get to flip the stick wherever I want to with ease, unlike um, what is it, this game controller right here, where it might require a bit more work to flip the stick around, just a bit, it actually does require a bit more, just a bit more work, and now that I've kind of grown around this controller, or the L stick, it just feels like that I'm not even using the L stick, and it's just, you know, doing its thing, and all that types of stuff, then, you know, I find it fine. Or I just like it a lot. I just like how the L stick's just, like, so loose, you know? It could just be me, but I like it, the, I like it that way better for whatever reason. Which is also why sometimes I don't like using the Pro Controller, because it could get a little... It's a little... It takes a little bit more effort just to wiggle the stick around, but uh, with the game controller, not really at all. So, I prefer that a, a little bit more. Now, with all those notes out of the way, this is my control scheme. Look at it. Literally no different. I mean, sometimes I would change the uh, the taunts or the, you know, the D-pad to shield sometimes because, uh, according to Zero, a lot of pro players like to mash out of things quicker by, like, messing with the D-pad because it's the shield button. Which, in a way, he can be true, but sometimes I do like my taunts. Sometimes, like in battle arenas or in, um, you know, local play or in um, other places. And plus, even though rolling the uh, L stick around and the C stick around, even though that's not the most ideal way of mashing, but I find it to be, you know, I find it, it's not the most ideal way, but I find it to be easier than um, just straight up trying to, um, mash all these buttons and get like nothing done you know now the only difference is uh my other options or my other settings 
I have the L sensi the stick sensitivity at low. I actually originally had it on high until everyone figured out that the stick sensitivity doesn't even affect the way you play. It just affects how many. It just affects your window frame of like how much time you get to have to perform a smash attack. And personally, I think that's kind of unnecessary. I mean, for me, even though I like to use the L stick a lot, I actually don't find a lot of problems uh, trying to perform a smash attack. You know, regularly. I don't. I'm not even using the uh, A B control thing. I'm just doing it right here and all that types of stuff. Rumble. I just have Rumble on because it doesn't. I don't know why, but it doesn't really affect my controller at all. Um, Rumble though. I heard there's a lot of benefits to having Rumble. There's a lot of uh, downgrades to having Rumble as well. I think probably the uh, personally, you know, from someone who's grew from melee and brawl, I've never really found Rumble to be a problem. So, I've always had Rumble on, and I've never really thought of this to have a, you know, I've never really thought of it to have a problem, because I can't feel it on my controller, and I just get used to it. It's, but in the Pro Controller setting, hey, let me actually uh, check out the Pro Controller setting. Right here, I actually do have Rumble on, right here, and all the types of stuff. My reason is, Rumble is so minuscule to me, I don't even notice that there even is Rumble. And, so, and sometimes I even like Rumble too. So I don't think Rumble to me is that much of a problem. I mean, it's just personal preference. There's always a reason why someone is bound to not like Rumble one way or the other, so. That's why I like Rumble a lot. Or that's why I'm fine with Rumble, should I say. Um. The shield. Everything here. It's more of just like a, um, oh yeah, so I, you know, I grew for melee and brawl, mostly brawl, because I wasn't really amazing at melee, and I've actually kind of liked brawl a bit more than melee, mostly because it felt easier to play than it did in uh, melee. It was way harder, because it, everything was like more slippery, so this is, um, this is generally my control scheme. A and B, the reason why I don't have that on for smash attacks, I feel like there's going to be those one or two moments where I'm going to have, where I'm going to slip my thumb to both the A and B. And I'm gonna like do a smash attack and like it will whiff so hard that someone will be able to punish me and it will be so bad. Um Stick jump, personally I've never liked it. I've always hated it. Like I feel like I feel like especially for me who never really I tried the uh, tilt attack for uh you know the this, but personally for me I've never really liked it because I feel I always thought that oh yeah, now that um now that you know I can do tilts. I can play optimally, right? Well, personally, I don't like it because there are some things I actually do like with Smash Attack on the C-Stick than, than if it was on the, um, you know, the, than if it was on Tilt Attacks. Like, for example, Up Smash and Shield. I tried doing that regularly, like, you know, with without the C-Stick, like, you know, doing this. Personally, there are times where I wouldn't even do it, and it really messes me up a lot, especially, so I just think it's easier to just Put it on shield, and just flick the C-Stick up, and then boom. Easy without effort. And then you have this on the other hand, you know, press up, and then A, and do the smash attack manually. I finally, I find that to be a bit more harder, so... Especially if, since I have the stick sensitivity on low, it's gonna be a bit more difficult. Especially when you're getting pressured, it's, you're not gonna like it a lot. At least I don't. Now again, these... Sometimes I would put it on shield mostly because everyone's all like, yo, if you actually put it on shield, you can um, mash your way out of things and it'll be, you know, really cool. Personally, I don't have a problem with it. Personally, I am never really a good masher. I try to do, you know, the mashing thing that everyone does and personally doesn't work for me. So that's why sometimes I keep it on taunts just so, you know, I can be that guy, you know. <laughs> or sometimes I like to have it on up taunt, so that way I can do the up taunt and be like, I'm sad cause you did that. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is my control scheme. I don't really have a lot of problems here, so this is just usually what I like to go with. This is just what I'm most comfortable with. If you guys can do this control scheme if you want, even though all you have to do is just, you know, press X and then boom. All this right here, go to other options, turn rubble on or off, whatever you want, turn this off, turn this off, turn this low, and then boom, literally, boom. Nothing's different, nothing is different. That is all I do. So, to me, it's a, and especially if you get into like local tournaments and you have those people that take like way too much time to 
to like setting up all these really complicated controls you don't even like and all that types of stuff. <laughs> you know, it's a uh, <laughs> it's just gonna be one of those moments. So yeah, that those are my personal control schemes and all types of stuff. And if you for whatever reason got anything out of that, then good job. And then if you choose me, I'm gonna try out this uh, a tribute to melee tournament online thing going on. So yeah, 